Welcome back, Tankers of Blitz Universe. We have another analysis of a lost game, and again, it's for despair, albeit in the 4.0 version, the flattened version, and it's a different tank, the T6 Dracula. I'm driving it on my press account, as you can see. We are top tier, um, and this is a big damage game for a tier 7 medium tank, but it's a game. Like I said, where I make a few mistakes, obviously the team could have done uh, something better. We have an AFK tank, which will be apparent in a few minutes. And if they had put in one more shot, blah, 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 etc., etc., then uh, we would have won the game. Um, why am I posting series like this? Um, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of posts on Facebook, on Discord channels, uh, Facebook groups, or whatever, forums where people are telling, well, I'm carrying like a boss and I'm still losing and why is my team beep, uh, retarded, beep, F this, F that, WTF, blah, 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 etc. And they are right. People who post this stuff are right. Teams sometimes do stuff uh, don't do anything at all, it's even worse. Sometimes they, they do stuff and they shouldn't have done it, or they should have done, so, done something more, and then they don't, and that's bloody annoying. But I have found out for myself that if I focus too much on what my team is doing and want to rely on them, then it affects my own gameplay. I get Annoyed. I get annoyed by the fact that uh, teams don't push, that teams don't prioritize targets, that my teammates are shooting the wrong tanks, etc. etc. And you can see this SU 100 Y we're shooting now. We have a fair few targets available. We shoot the KV 2. There's an AMX M445 over there, still the SU 100 Y. Should have done something different. Maybe I should have shot that AMX uh, a bit more. Um, but then again, we're putting sh in shot after shot onto the SU 100 Y. He's a big gun. Uh, low tier tank destroyer. That's uh, true, but still I want to take him out. This is a bit unfortunate. A shot goes into the ground, dips low. I uh, would have been able to take him out just a bit quicker. But then again, he's uh, simply sitting there. Thank you very much. We can put another, in, uh, another shot in for 43 damage. Take that gun out. And that means we can now see what's happening. And the first thing that uh, I do wrong, really, uh, will be apparent in about a minute, I guess. I'm not uh, noticing one tank on my left. I have no idea why I get spotted over here, but you can see the team is falling hard. I can shoot at 80-15 uh, again, 80-15A. There we go again, and I really screw up because I failed to notice that little triangle. Hello, KV2. Uh, why did I not watch the minimap? I completely missed him. I can take him out, that's no problem uh, whatsoever, but I have a few tanks behind me and our AFK Type 62 Dragon decides to come alive. So I want to leave the fort now, fight on my terms, fight on flat ground where I can use mobility, view range, etc. Um, yeah, and the type, you, you can see he's driving around. I have no idea what he is doing. Uh, we set up here. Uh, this is a good position, really. Just drive back towards uh, to, war, uh, to where I was before. Uh, hopefully get some spots in, nothing available here. I don't know what the Reds are doing, but there's the first one, the AMX M445. And we are able to put a shot into him. There we go. And just as he turns, oh, fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. I, sh <laughs> I shoot his front plate. And th that is going to be a costly shot, as we will see in the rest of the match. Uh, Dragon again. Going in YOLO, a quick shot on the KV-3 that hits, but for no damage whatsoever. We have a tank on cap. That's probably the 8050. No, it's the IS. We can shoot the IS again. This one goes in. Thank you very much. Load adrenaline. That's a good thing as well. We can shoot him one more time, but as we want to shoot him, we roll up a hill. So it goes high. And again, we use mobility. And I want to follow the dragon around a bit. Um, but he is... He's not doing anything. Uh, in the after game stats, uh, you will see he does zero damage. He fired a whopping four shots and he's just, you can see he's driving around like a madman. Uh, people from the team are also uh, complaining about this. There is the IS again. We can shoot him. Thank you. Type 62, this is not a race. This is a battle. Shoot red tanks. Thank you very much. And now it's a one on four. And I have a bit of a problem because. You can see KV3, I need at least 
four shots to take him down and I would need full rolls to take him down. 8015A I need a fair few shots to take him down. The AMX I need three shots etc. So and I am yeah I'm, I'm not a one shot to any of the tanks except for an ammo rack uh, luckily. Um, but they do have the DPM to take me out so I want to spot anyone going in. There's the IS I can shoot him. Drive back was just quick enough so I Bounce a shot. I don't repair my tracks. I want to keep both of my uh, health uh, repair packs there. A lucky on the engine fire that makes him not a three shot uh, kill but a two shot. And now I want to just sit here and then roll away. But just as I want to roll away, there's the AMX again. And now you can see we get another bounce on the front plate of that AMX. And that's where the costly shot in the beginning came in. Because if I hadn't bounced that one and hadn't bounced the one we hit just here then he would have been killed in the first shot and then i would have had 600 something health far more than i have now um now i am rolling around because i can see the cap moving i have no time to really go away again i should have aimed more carefully for this shot this one goes crosses cupola that's unfortunate i do repair my modules now it's not just the tracks but a lot else i have to make the shot he bounces aim 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 aim, aim. yes we reset the cap Thank you very much, but yeah, 40, 48 now, just 48, ah. there's nothing I can do now, I can't really relocate, so I'm hoping for a very cheeky shot on his cupola over here on the 8050 nail, that's not available, there's a KV-3 on 936, um, so I have to really go out here and hopefully be able to shoot him, I can't track the KV-3 in place, does he shoot, he doesn't, ah, damn it, he gets me. Well played by the red team, been unfortunate, the big one was not noticing that KV2 uh, coming in on me and then a bit unlucky on two shots on the AMX M445. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing this series to hopefully identify where I went wrong so you won't make those sorts of mistakes again. Next one will be a Tiger P loss on Yamato. Catch you all on the next one lads, cheers, happy tanking.